there is a lot to learn in the way a story gets structured and the way and the way you tell the story and your ability to actually have someone have um, your audience understand the perspective, the issues, the problems that you really are trying to um, bring to light. What drove us to complete that film, regardless of all the hurdles and, and valleys and bumps and obstacles we faced, um, was the, our commitment to, to tell this story. There are styles of filmmaking that are very much um, not meant to reflect a unique point of view, but meant to reflect a community's point of view about a certain issue or a certain conflict or a certain history. It, it started to nag at me, um, this notion about could a documentary film live off screen? Could it in fact uh, exist in a way that changed the conditions of the place where it was being told? Um, and not in a dark room with people being moved or not moved and then for two hours feeling good or not good about what they saw and perhaps being inspired to sign a petition or to go online and find out more about it. Was it possible to create art that in fact had a more direct impact on changing the conditions where that art existed? Documentary films uh, seem to be, tr they're treated as though there's some sort of um, cultural, th that they have a cultural power. They're written about frequently. They're, um, they become a kind of a way you describe, um, they, they, they frame an historic period sometimes. They, um, they, they, I think they've got power way beyond their, their reach. Needing to be mindful and specific about who your audience is um, has been the most helpful thing in this process of contouring footage and thinking about what needs to be in, what needs to be out, and um, what needs to be prioritized. I think it's essential. I think the hardest thing uh, I have found, and I think the most liberating thing about being creative, is to not know and just be in that moment. Not expect the next moment, or spend too much time on the past moment. Just be in this moment. It's not just about me and my taste and my interest. Um, and so I think in that way, documentary film that's infused with that intention is a social innovation. 